Oh my god. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Afan, and today we're gonna watch this movie called Titanic. It's a movie that's been suggested quite a few times, and it was suggested the first time a very long time ago, and I've been putting it off. Finally, I've decided to see it, so here we are watching it. Before we get into the movie, though, if you want to see the full length reaction, this movie pretty much every single other movie that i've done and uh the shows as well and if you want early access to these videos that's available on my patreon link in the description to my patreon as a thank you from me to you i will be giving away some merch for your continued support on patreon as well so thank you so very much patrons youtube members subscribers all yeah man you make this happen so thank you so much for leaving the comments and making my experience watching these movies even better making me understand things that i don't really sometimes and by sometimes i mean all the time uh, so yeah thank you so much for giving me your time now then about the movie like i said i know of titanic it's a movie that's been requested quite a bit i know that it's like one of the greatest movie ever made or something like i don't know like it made a lot of money and stuff like that similar to avatar i saw avatar already by the way it should be on the channel so i'm not entirely sure which one's gonna go up first but yeah we did briefly talk about this in our history um class a professor did tell us that the movie actually has a lot of faults in terms of historically you know it's not very accurate but you know it's hollywood they have to dramatize stuff they also have to entertain us that's the whole point of the movie so i get that completely and i'm actually kind of looking forward to it the story that's taking place i was told it's completely made up as well that's not real so i just know what happens at the end you know that's it before that in between i don't know any of that so i'm looking forward to seeing this because it, it's really a movie that like i said from the like way back when i started this channel it was uh recommended to me so and it's been on the list for a while so i'm finally checking movies off the list and i'm uh here i'm, I'm really excited to see this one because i've heard a lot of good stuff from friends family and then you guys as well so so yeah having said that let's jump into the movie without any further ado i might do here we go <sighs> titanic there's quite a few things in there alcohol use foul language nudity cellus pg-13 submarines I was like, are those cars on a highway or a submarine? You know, the, the sound was such that I thought it might be underwater. That fish is not moving out of the way. He's like, I don't care if you're that big. Is the Titanic? Wait, it's already happened? From the world above. <laughs> You're so full of shit, boss. <laughs> Maybe he is, but that I was I was in. He drew me in. I was like, all right. I mean, the thing about this is that it actually happened. So like has a bit of extra weight to it, you know what I mean? Like this is real. Well not this, but you know what I mean, like. Well actually this might be real. Is this the real thing? Windows are nine inches thick, and if they go, it's INR in two microseconds. All right. Enough of that bullshit. <laughs> Snoop Dogg is on the move. <laughs> Snoop Dogg. The hell is that? That can't be a human. It's like a horror movie or something. You guys made me so insidious too, which should be on the channel as well, by the way. Bastards. <laughs> ah, Snoop's got his blunt. Well, Snoop's gonna snoop. Make your turn, watch the, wall. Yeah. the crab feeders are here. I don't know why that reminded me of that, um, I forgot his name. That dude from the Pirates of the Caribbean the piano dude, you know, with the tentacles and everything. Okay, drop it. Like it's hot. I mean, it is Snoop. It's payday, boys. Looked like a safe. Nothing. I guess it's... I go, oh, okay. I have something here, guys. Where's the photograph of the necklace? Ah, the necklace. That's what they're looking for. How do they know? This can just be like a picture. Oh, no, this is a sketch. Okay, cool. It's quite a TV. Team are able to preserve it intact. 
Yeah, I was going to say it looks so good. None of the ink or whatever, I don't know, what paint or whatever they use is gone. Damn. Why? <laughs> is she part of the ship? Is she on the ship? Is that like her daughter or something? She knows her or something? Can you tell us who the woman in the picture is? The woman in the picture is me. Oh, of course. I'm an idiot. Oh, right, right. Because this is... <laughs> okay, that makes sense. <laughs> okay. Some nut case seeking money or publicity? Could be. I mean, you've come this far. Why not? Give it a go, you know? 101 next month. He's a very old goddamn liar. Sounds quite badass. Punching out kids. <laughs> Hundred and one years old, eh? Wow. It's a lot of years. Galadriel's like hold my water, I guess. What do they drink? Lembus bread. <laughs> I would like to see my drawing. Oh, this is okay, so this is okay, this is real. You actually think this is you, Nana? Wasn't I a dish? <laughs> Snack. Are you ready to go back to Titanic? Is she? Here we uh, go. She ooh, they recreated a right. She kind of bumps along. 3D thing. Until finally, she's got her whole ass is sticking up in the air, <laughs> and that's a big ass. twerking. Yeah. Thousand tons. Okay. Bubble butt. So what happens? She split. Yeah, it was in two pieces, right? Yeah. That's when it hits the ocean floor. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Thank you for that fine Are you forensic analysis. Good, dude. If she really was on there, that's not cool at all. It... Exactly. Like, oh, that was a ghost. It'd totally be a horror movie. You know what I mean? The whole concept. I mean, it's just a disaster. Hmm. Okay, I see. So it's gonna be through her memories. Tell us, Rose. Okay. It's been 84 years. Not that many, then, eh? Only 84. There it is. <laughs> carrying the cars onto it. And rings of power that were carrying the horses onto it. Same ideas. It's a big boat, huh? Daddy, it's a ship. <laughs> it's a canoe. That's her. I don't see what all the fuss is about. <laughs> Your daughter is far too difficult to impress, Ruth. <laughs> this is the ship they say is unsinkable. It is well, himself could not sink this ship. What? Check your mm, what about an iceberg? God's like, hold my iceberg. <laughs> Welcome to Titanic. Kind of looked like a goat. All right. Third class. Somebody's life's about to change. I wonder how many classes there are. We're going to America! Full house, boys! No! Oh! Come on! Come on, get out of here before... <laughs> before they change their mind. Anyway, we don't have any license. We're Americans. Both of us. Right, come aboard. <laughs> That's what they were checking for, the lice. I thought they were checking, I don't know. I thought they were checking for something else. <laughs> Titanic Liverpool. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Jack Dawson, nice to meet you. What is Sven. <laughs> and the other guy. <laughs> No one cares about the nameless one. No, Olaf. Yeah, that I did say their name. Yeah. The difference between Cal's taste and art and mine is that I have some. Like being inside a dream or something. Or something. What's the artist's name? Something Picasso. Mmm. Picasso. He won't. Trust me. Let's put the cigar in the bedroom. Yeah, well, so far you've been wrong about two things. Unsinkable and he won't amount to anything. Her husband had struck gold someplace out west. And she was new money. <laughs> Hmm, okay. I've seen this. Oh, 
I'm just waiting for him to say it. I have seen this. Wow, these people are not real. <laughs> 21 knots, sir. 21 knots? How many yeses? Hey, look, 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 look. Hey, the dolphin's faster. How many knots is that? <laughs> it's not like a fish. It's kind of like cars, you know, how they do the horsepower thing. I'm the king! That's the one. I've seen that clip so many times. This one and there's another one as well that I have seen. It's very similar to this, but it has a... Oh. Okay, cool. Why are these people fake? Why can't... Why can't they just be real? Largest moving object ever made by the hand of man in all history. Ship looked a bit different. It kind of looked a bit rounder. It looked really sharp earlier. You know I don't like that rose. <laughs> she knows. Rare with very little mint salt. You like rare? Yeah. Luxury and above all strength. I could have sworn that mark was on the right side before. Or I guess on the left side. Her left side. Now it's on the right side. Hmm. I do apologize. She's a pistol, Cal. Hope you can handle her. <laughs> Freud, who is he? Is he a passenger? <laughs> yeah. <sighs> okay. So he's the one who drew that sketch. What's your drawings? Hmm, there it is. Oh, forget it, Boyle. It's like have angels fly out of your arse is getting next to the likes of her. <laughs> Oh, the Irish. <laughs> There's a chance, boyo! That notice was flipped earlier, wasn't it? I thought it was one of those things where, like, you can see... Because, you know, sometimes the ambulances have the ambulance flipped, too? Ah, anyways, who cares? Okay, then. Give me your hand. I'll pull you back over. No! Stay where you are! <clears throat> no, you won't. Don't presume to tell me what I will and will not. <laughs> well, you would have done it already. You're distracting me. Go away! <laughs> distracting you from what? You're distracting him earlier. Truth, I'm a lot more concerned about that water being so cold. <clears throat> Ooh, okay. How cold? <laughs> Maybe a couple degrees over. Ever been to Wisconsin? I don't think so. What? <laughs> ice fishing is you know where you- I know what ice fishing- <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Water that cold, it hits you like a thousand knives. Which is why I'm kind of hoping you'll come back over the railing and get me off the hook here. You're crazy! Yeah, you're one to talk. With all due respect, miss, I'm not the one hanging off the- <laughs> <laughs> Careful. Careful. I'm Jack Dawson. Come on. Come on. I have to get you to write that one down. <laughs> okay then. Ah! Ooh. I got you. Ah. Ay, ay, ay. Of course he falls on her. Either she falls on him or he falls on her, you know. Oh. Ooh, that looks really bad. Yeah. I was leaning far over to see the, uh... Water? Fishies! Dolphins! Anything! Stars! <laughs> Propellers! And I would have gone overboard, but Mr. Dawson here saved me, and almost went over himself. And women and machinery do not mix. <laughs> was that the way of it? Okay, then. <laughs> so all's well, and uh, back to our brandy, eh? <laughs> At the going rate for saving the woman you love. I was displeased. To do, you could join us for dinner tomorrow. Ooh, the plot thickens. Sure, count me in. This should be interesting. Very interesting indeed. And with that twenty. <laughs> but the young lady slipped so suddenly, and you still had time to remove your jacket and your shoes. Very interesting indeed. Yet again. <laughs> It's that. <laughs> yeah. If 
you would not deny me. Now open your heart to me, Rose. Which heart? This one? <laughs> I want to thank you for what you did. I know what you must be thinking. Poor little rich girl. Poor little rich girl, yeah. Misery, isn't that a movie? You guys want me to see? I'll see it, don't worry. I don't know you guys like to see me suffer. I'll see it. Alright. Eventually. Do you love him? You're being very rude. <laughs> you shouldn't be asking me this. Do you love the guy or not? <laughs> this is not a suitable conversation. Why can't you just answer the question? <laughs> <laughs> because the answer is no. Come on now. And, you and you've insulted me. Well, you deserved it. Right. <laughs> I thought you were leaving. <laughs> AM. AM. You are so annoying. Thank you. You leave. Oh, now who's being rude? <laughs> <laughs> what is this stupid thing you're carrying around? The sketches? What are you, an artist or something? <laughs> I thought you were leaving. <laughs> you wanted him to leave. And these were drawn from life? <laughs> Lots of girls willing to take their clothes off. Well, she had beautiful hands, you see. Yep, that's definitely what I was looking at—the hands. Oh no, no, no! Just with her hands. Both of them, actually. I was looking. I was looking at both of her hands. <laughs> you have a gift, Jack. You see people. See you. And? He wouldn't have jumped. <laughs> but the purpose of university is to find a suitable husband. Ah, is it now? Here comes that vulgar brown woman. <laughs> brown? This is brown. That's not. I was hoping I'd catch it tea. I'm roughly sorry you missed it. Well, lovely idea. I need to catch up on my gossip. <laughs> I'm trying to avoid you, lady. If we were to get into New York on Tuesday night and surprise, make the morning papers, retire with a bang, eh, EJ? <laughs> we'll ride on the roller coaster till we throw up. <laughs> Then we'll ride horses on the beach, right in the surf. Now, but you'll have to do it like a real cowboy. None of that side saddles. <laughs> One leg on each side? Yeah. Can you show me? Sure, if you like. I could do it right now, actually. Jack, oh, come no, on. Jack, come on. no. Wait, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> All right, your turn. It was pitiful. <laughs> it was, come on. You know, you gotta... <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> oh no, come on! May I introduce Jack Dawson? Charmed, I'm sure. Ah, come on, it moved to the down here. Sounds like you're a good man to have around in a sticky spot. This kind of reminds me of Pride and Prejudice. That was a really good movie as well. What are you planning to wear? Come on. Yeah. You and my son are just about the same size. Well, what a coincidence. Oh, that's a camera. <laughs> Man, the difference. I'm sure they don't sleep in bunk beds. <laughs> She'll be Behind you. <laughs> hey there. Seven oh five. I saw that in the Nickelodeon once, and I always wanted to do it. I said, "Avatar: The Last Airbender." You could almost pass for a gentleman. Almost. Almost. Hey. Remember, they love money, so just pretend like you want a gold mine, and you're in the club. <laughs> uh, just be pretentious. Yeah, I know. Hello, Molly. Oh, he let her go? Are you of the Boston Dawson? Chippewa Falls Dawson's actually. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Don't pretend like you know. If you don't know, just say, okay, I don't know. <laughs> Tell us of the accommodations in steerage, Mr. Dawson. I hear they're quite good on this ship. The best I've seen, ma'am. Hardly any rats. <laughs> I don't know any of that either. I work my way from place to place, but I won my ticket on Titanic here. Oh my god, this is a very lucky hand. Hmm. All life is a game of Okay. Leonardo DiCaprio, okay. I figure life's a gift and I don't intend on wasting it to make each day count. Well said, Jack. Yeah, yeah. To make me count. To, to make, make me count. count. 
I mean, I knew it was him, but when they did that close up of his face, it just brought back Django. And I'm like, oh, that's that dude from Django, which I knew, but. <laughs> kind of weird what happened there. I don't know. It's memory. It works weird, you know? Time for me to go row with the other slaves. You're one of them. She said she felt like a slave, right? Okay, well, be discreet. That was the whole point of that. <laughs> the mother's got her eyes on her. So you want to go to a real party? Third class, let's go. Man, I love the sound of bagpipes. <laughs> Okay then, let's go. Now the party started. <laughs> oh my god, she's so cute. I can't do this. We're gonna have to get a little bit closer. Like this. Oh, she's not happy. Come on. <laughs> she's so cute. The contrast. I love it. The hard cut. Oh, let's go. Chug, 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 chug. Drink. <laughs> okay, then. Get out of here. Uh oh. Ow! She's a ballerina. Uh oh. Uh oh. And scene. That's going to be a problem, because obviously. You will never behave like that again, Rose, do you understand? I'm your fiancé. Yes, you are! And my, <laughs> my wife can practice, if not yet by law, so you will honor me. Excuse me. So, honey, sorry, Trudy. So, <laughs> let me help you. It's all right, miss. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is a fine match with Hockley. It will ensure our survival. How can you put this on my shoulder? Why are you being so selfish? I'm being selfish. I don't think she's the one being selfish. Do you want to see me working as a seamstress? Mm, it'll bring a bit of humility. Being sold at auction. Yeah. Our memory scattered to the winds. I and mean, if that's how you behave, just thinking about it, I think you need to do that. Bring you down to the ground a little, you know? Excuse me, sir. Another ice warning. Quite normal for this time of year. In fact, we're speeding up. Oh, those things! Where I'm from, we still have those. I used to play with it. Kind of like Beyblades. Kind of. <laughs> the engine room. <laughs> and they're gone. Lovely. To the gym. You're the most amazingly astounding, wonderful girl, woman that I've ever known. Girl woman. Yeah. But I'm too involved now. You jump, I jump, remember? Sooner or later, that fire that I love about you, Rose, that fire is going to burn out. Mm. Only you can do that. It's up to you alone. Hey, he's back. I changed my mind. Oh, my God. They said you might be <laughs> Oh, if you know, you know. This meme, oh no. The the music. <laughs> now close your eyes. Step up. Okay, this is that scene. I've seen this scene as well, okay. Keep your eyes closed, don't pee. I'm not. Step up onto the rail. Be careful. <laughs> I had to trip like last time. I trust you. There it is. It's amazing how certain scenes just make it so far. Like I'd never seen this movie. Those two scenes, I'm King and and this one. And then the music, well. <laughs> oh, it's too good. So beautiful too, the, the scenery behind the sunset. Uh, it's all just too good. Uh, 
And now it's like that, eh? All of that gone. Oh, so it was that night. Okay. Mm. He's got the iceberg warning in his fucking hand. Excuse me, his hand. And he's ordering more speed. Yeah. Should we be expecting many time soon? Not as long as the cigars and brandy hold out. Who's brandy? Jack, I want you to draw me like one of your French girls. Wearing only this. I was gonna say, one of your French girls? What do you mean? That's what she means. <laughs> Open that door. I saw him back there. <laughs> <laughs> Why so serious? Go on, let's put a smile on that face. I believe you were blushing, Mr. Big Artiste. <laughs> Can't imagine Monsieur Monet blushing. It does landscapes. <laughs> well, that's sort of a landscape. Not that different, you know? Same sort of curves, uneven terrain. <laughs> Most erotic moment of my life. <laughs> you mean, did we do it? <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you, Mr. Bodine. Jack was very professional. How did it survive? That's his pencil. When did they move it? He put it back in the safe, but it wasn't in the safe, so. Love Joy, find her. Love Joy. I love Joy too. It will make the bugs harder to see. With no breaking water at the base. Is this guy just ignoring everything they're telling them? Uh oh. Run! Run, Jackaboy! <laughs> Lovely! Pretty tough for a ballot, this fella. He was like a cop. I think he was. Yeah. Maybe. No! You can't run forever. They're gonna get you eventually. Came down here. Could be. It probably is. You shouldn't be down here either. It doesn't look like it. Safe. You are doing a great job, but it doesn't look safe at all. All the fumes, the cool, the heat. Ah, look, we have here, huh? Ah, these are all the cars and stuff. Cargo. Hey, that's that car. From earlier, the one that was floating in. Yeah, the red car. Two roses up there as well. Wow, she's strong. I'm nervous. Might be the first time she's not nervous. Seems like she's always nervous. Or was at least. Man, it's just knowing the end. This is just sad. Like, what the fuck, <laughs> man? Put an S at the end. Put some milk in it. Pretty good. Okay then. Not as good as that though. You're trembling. Don't worry. I'll be alright. You on the other hand, I don't know if this will... Yeah. I don't know how this is going to go down with the family and everything. Uh-oh. <sighs> yeah. Mm -mm. Now what? There's the hand. Gotcha! Nope. They're gone. When the ship docks, I'm getting off with you. This is crazy. <laughs> I know. It's Here's my number. Um. That's why I trusted. <laughs> uh, I don't know if they'll let go, though. <laughs> what the iceberg? Yeah, let's go. Fuck me! Pick up you bastards! I stayed. Iceberg, right ahead! Oh, the starboard, starboard! <laughs> 
smartly. What does that mean? Oh, that's way too close. I don't think you can move this big of a thing. I mean, I why, why, I know what's going to happen. <laughs> why do I still have hope? Come on. Oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Returning. Oh, they made it! No, 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 they said it's gonna hit. Nope, they haven't made it. Uh-oh, there it is. Oh, no. Whoa. And it has begun. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Ooh, that was close. That's close, eh, wouldn't it? Oh. Stop. Whew. Excuse me, why have the engines stopped? I felt no, thank you. Hmm, <laughs> gotta keep the people calm, you know, can't have them panic. Now, you moron. <laughs> oh, are they gonna blame Jack for something? For stealing something? The damage in the mail hold. No, she's already on the water. This is bad. Yeah, oh, here we go. Hmm, okay. This is horseshit! Don't you believe it, Rose? Don't! He could Perhaps you did it while you're putting your clothes back on, dear. Ooh, okay. Property of A.L. Ryerson. That was reported stolen today? No, I just borrowed it. I was gonna return it. No. <laughs> From one to the next, back and back. There's no stopping it. Titanic will founder. The unsinkable will sink. Ship can't sink. She's made of irons. Man, shut up. How much time? An hour. Two tomorrow. Oof. And how many aboard, Mr. Murdoch? 2,200 souls on board. Sir. I am. 2,200. How many can you save? Does she believe him? Oi, yay, yay. Now may I suggest top coats and hats? Not to worry, miss. I am sure it's just a precaution. <laughs> That's that girl. Tell whoever responds that we're going down by the head and need immediate assistance. It's very interesting, you know. You have this one disaster over here and then this other disaster with Rose and Jack and them. Get down here and help with these lines. I have no idea, that's why. Wow. Care for a drink, sir? Why not? Come on, then. The goddamned English doing everything by the book. There's no need for language, Mr. Hockley. So what are you going to do? You're just going to yell random noises? I guess that is language, too. The ship will sink. In an hour or so. What? Okay, then. So, I need you up in the second class. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think it was going to be that easy. She's just saying, oh, I'm gone and I'm leaving. And then they're just going to let her go. Not back in the day, at least. Got plenty of um, warnings, you know. Ignore them all. Hadn't we better get the women and children? And yeah. yeah, screw the men. <laughs> what have they ever done? It's not like they built this boat. Women and children first. Let's go. Come on. Keep it moving. Nice and cheery, so there's no panic. Wedding dance. Hmm. Musicians are playing the music to keep calm. Do they know what's going on though? Like what's actually going on? Just waiting, dear. When they finish putting first class people in the boats, they'll be starting with us and we'll want to be all ready, won't we? <laughs> the rich ones get to leave first and I guess then the poor ones. Well, and hmm, I'm interested in this though. Will they let? The men off. Wait, hold on a second. There's a few men on that boat. I thought they said men and chi I mean women and children only. Or are they gonna get off once they're down? All oh, right, flares for the. Hmm. It's fireworks. Yeah, but I was thinking it was will they let the women and children from third class first? Or before the men in first class, though. But then I saw some men in there anyway, so... 
Damn, what a gun. Hey, gentlemen, uh, gentlemen, I need women at this time, sir. Lifeboats be seated according to class. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, yeah, shut up, exactly. The water is freezing and there aren't enough boats. Not enough by half. Half the people on this ship are going to die. Not the better half. Okay then, well. Come on, Rose, darling. There's plenty of room for you. She's not gonna go? Come. Because obviously. Come on, run away. You whore to gutter rat! Yeah, I didn't think so. No! There you go. She got the technique down. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like that's not gonna be the end of that. The way he carries himself, he's quite arrogant. He's quite, you know. Well, they all are really. Stuart, check the starboard corridor. You have to put on your life. Set a good example. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite a lot of instructions. I hope you can remember them. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Well, uh oh. Okay then. You don't have much time. You don't have much time. I'm sorry, Miss, but the lifts are closed. Moving a light. God damn it! Now take me down. <laughs> Whoa. How's she gonna go back? Have the other. Well, you need to have. An operator at all time, right? Jack! I'm sorry, I'm so sorry! Okay, okay, can you... It's a little silver one, Rose! You took the keys, right, with him? How did you find out I didn't do it? I just realized I already knew. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, the front or the back, I don't know what this is, the front or back is completely gone. I think the front, because that's where it hit, right, so... Yeah, this can totally be a horror film, man. The noises and everything. Oh, thank God. Wait, please, I need yeah. your help. There's yeah. a man back here and he's... And he's wait! <clears throat> Hello? Ooh. Okay, then. This might actually be a horror film. Oh, that sound. Glass just went back. <laughs> Broke it all off, then she was taking the axe. I was back. It's pretty much hmm. Maybe neck level. <laughs> yeah. Will this work? Yeah, it should. Guess we'll find out. Come on. Oh, it should. Be careful, be careful. <laughs> yeah, don't hit it, chop his arms off. <laughs> oh, and she's cold as well. Okay, yeah, he, she's definitely gonna hit him in the head. Oh yeah, definitely, let's go now, let's do it. On then, put that through his head. Come on, let's do this. Come on, wait. Open your hands up a little more. Like that? Right. Yeah, a little more space gives you a little more control. Oh, she's shaking. Come on, then. Chop his hands off. And she closed her eyes and hit him in the hand. Oh, no, she didn't. Okay, cool. Why won't you close your eyes? What the fuck? Come on, another way. Come on. <laughs> the musicians are going at it. Okay, so pretty much everyone at this point knows what's going on, eh? <laughs> Just toss that over. Makes sense though, like you need to have people in there, not things. This guy, shut up. Shut up. Hey, let's go. The <laughs> boat. Uh, <laughs> These people are so up their own ass, I swear to God, man. 20 or so in a boat built for 65. And I saw one boat with only two Things mean so much to them. Money, like, it makes you better than the, the, the other people. Hmm. 
Oh, okay. I think mine's are women and children down here! Yeah, that's what they're asking you. They're asking you to bring them up. It's flooding. We've got to get out of here. There's an entity this way. All right. <laughs> of course. God damn it! Son of a bitch! Stop that! Over in the dumb game! Get the axe! Get the axe! Sweet! Let's go! You can't go up there! You can't go there! <laughs> oh my god, there are people jumping off. I feel bad for the workers though, they're getting left behind. Imagine knowing you're going to sink, you're going to die. Give order, I said! They're gonna die anyway, so if you shoot them, it's probably gonna be less painful. I mean, painless. No, I was right the first time. Less painful, yes. This rounding is like one of the worst ways to go. It's slow. Well, they don't listen to us at dinner either. Come on, let's play. Keep us. <laughs> Orpheus. Wow. They're having fun. They keep on going. <laughs> oh. You better check the other side. More flares. Oh, wow. He didn't go. You can't go through yet. No, you can't go through. Ready on the left. Mm mm. Mm mm. Mm mm. <laughs> Take them down. Okay then. Together, steady. Give it to me. Wow. There'll be another boat for the daddies. This boat's for the mummies and the children. There are no more boats. Wow. I have an arrangement with an officer on the other side of the ship. Jack and I can get off safely. Hmm. I don't think so. Clear the route, please. Hmm. <laughs> the last goodbye, eh? You're a good liar. Yeah. So are you. Yep. There's no arrangement, is there? There is for him, not for you. There is. Yeah. I always win, Jack. One way or another. Hmm. Yeah. Saw that one coming. <laughs> Told you he's not gonna let go. Doesn't look like the sword to let go. Wolves! Stop her! Wolves! He's coming back. Didn't see that one coming, eh? Wolves! <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> Why did you do that? Why? You are stupid. I jumped right. <laughs> I couldn't go. I couldn't go, Jack. Does this guy actually care about her? I, or is this like a competition thing? It's like a, you know, like he said, I always win. Okay, there it is. Ah, uh, okay. It's like he gave her his jacket and everything when she was cold. Oh, okay. Okay, he's gone. Yeah, he's gone. I mean, they're probably gonna die, so just leave. You know? Time together! Yeah, well, you could have enjoyed your time together as well if you were just. You listened, you know? You just. Cared a little. I put the diamond in the coat and gave the coat to her. On her. Yeah. Okay. We can't leave him. No, you cannot. That door's about to burst open. Better run quick. He saved him, you dick. It's the wrong way. Come back. The other way. Yep, there it is. Yeah, you dumb. Mm. Uh oh. Door's not gonna open. Oh, going against the current. Hey, that's not gonna be easy. Wait, sir! Don't open the gate, please! Is he gonna leave? He's gonna leave. Oh, come on! <laughs> Bloody hell. Go, go! Don't panic. I mean, don't rush him. He's gonna panic. I panic speaking. No. I'm sorry, I dropped the keys. Just go down, get the keys. 
There you go. Chaka boy is thinking. Go on there. Get the keys. Dip in there and look at it. Don't break the boat. You've only got so many. I think that means you got a lot, right? Unless it's my first language, who cares? You know what I mean. <laughs> you, don't, you don't have so many. <laughs> Is he gonna take her? Come on, do something good for once. Splash. Nothing but net. Your money can't save you any more than it can save me. Get back! Hey! So about that arrangement, eh? Shoot him, let's go! What the hell? Wow. Oh, he came for her. All right, you bastard. Finally, you did something good. Oh, he's using you dumb. Oh, he didn't. He left the child. He came back only to use the child as a way for him to get on the ship. Everything is a deal to him. Everything. Oh, man. This guy's gone, yeah, this guy, oh my god, I feel so bad for him, he was one of the first ones to know. Good luck to your boss. Hmm. He blames himself for all the debts, eh? And tell, the way he's just... Just in our best and I'm prepared to go down as gentle, but we would like a brandy. <laughs> Captain, where should I go? Please. Little child. Swear. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> you know what? Oh my god. Good luck. Oh, he's gonna continue on playing? They're gonna come back as well. Yes, they are. Okay, then. <laughs> he came back as well. Oh, man. Uh oh. Crap that glass. <laughs> jump, I jump. Oh, my God. Come on now. Uh. We'll together for 300 years in the land of Tirna. <sighs> she knows what's coming, but has to, has to keep on going. Put her children to sleep. <laughs> Flip the boat. <laughs> Go like gentlemen, eh? Gentlemen, it has been a privilege. <laughs> These guys. <laughs> the end of the captain shifting all the way to the other side i think the water weighs too much though uh oh oh that can't be good get out of the way get out of the way get out of the way <laughs> Come on, man. We're gonna die. Move it along. That's our mother. Dad, this is where we first met. <laughs> yeah. And that's where it's gonna end. That's where it started. That's where. It, well, she lives. I don't know about the other guy. I presume he doesn't since he's no longer in the picture. 
bloody pool faster and pull! That thing is massive. And that's definitely not what she said, not to me at least. When's it gonna break? I'm waiting for it to split, like they showed at the start. Oh, it's quite a fall. Okay then. Kinda looks like a whale, you know? It's mostly black, got some white lines and stuff. Well, not lines, but you know what I mean. Whoa, okay then. Oh, those noises. Did someone fire again? Someone's shooting again. Oh, these are the- oh, there are the noises of the thing that sound- yeah, it sounds like- Okay, it sounds like someone's shooting. It's just the boat breaking, there it is. Okay, it's gonna crush a lot of people. Going back up again. All right, just pulling it. I see. Give me your hand. Give me your hand. Whoa! It's gonna go straight up. We'll let go. Come on, I've got you. We're gonna be at the tip. Or is it gonna flip over? Oh. Okay, a few things are broken, for sure. Oh my god, just let them fall straight into the water, oh my... Uh, they're dead before they even hit the water, I think, I don't know, man. <laughs> and if you make it to the water, you're gonna die still, but you're just waiting to die at that point. This way, at least you go out quickly, I suppose. The ship is gonna suck us down! Deep breath when I say. Yeah, if you stay afloat, let go uh, just as you hit the water. Kick for the surface and keep kicking. Oh my god, oh my god, that is scary. We're gonna make it, Rose! I trust you! <laughs> Liverpool. No! You'll never walk alone. No. Uh -oh. Does he know how to swim? How are you gonna find him in that? Even if he does make it to this hole. <laughs> what the hell? Get off! I will just try and survive. It's so cold! Swim! Well. Keep swimming! Oh my god. My mind is going in all directions. I'm like, what if a shark or something or a few sharks appear? I found a boat, a raft. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, sh stay on it like fully so then he can get on. Keep it balanced. Okay then. Has help arrived? If we go back, they'll swamp the boat. They'll pull us right down. I'm t Everyone's gonna go down, yeah. Now do you people wanna live or do you wanna die? There's no way you're getting all of them. There's plenty of room for more. And there'll be one less on this boat. If you don't shut that hole in your face. She's gonna push him off. There are men on this. See, there are men here. Like, not the rowing people. They're uh, obviously there to row, but I'm talking about just... That boat right now, as quick as you can, please. Let's grab some space over there. Move forward and up. He's dead. Ooh, they're freezing to death. I don't know about you, but I intend to write a strongly worded letter to the White Star Line. <laughs> don't you do that. Lips are turning purple. Not yet. Do you understand me? I'm so cold. You're cold? He's in the water! Like, come on, woman. You're gonna go on 
<laughs> and you're gonna make lots of babies. <laughs> you're gonna die an old lady. <laughs> Not like this. Do you understand me? I can't feel my body. Ticket Rose was the best thing that ever happened to me. It brought me to you. And I'm thankful for that, Rose. Thankful. <laughs> Oh my god. You must do me this honor. You must promise me that you'll survive. No, she did that. You won't give up no matter what happens. Mm -mm. Nah, she didn't give up. Promise me now, Rose. And never let go of that promise. Rose! Wow. Done moving, sir. Check them! All froze to death. Check them, make sure. Oh my god. Now give way. Don't hit them. Oh my god. We waited too long. <sighs> oh, she's good. What about him? He's probably, yeah, he's probably gone. Okay. At least she survived. I don't think that dude is alive. Jack. Mm -mm. I think Jack is gone. There's a boat. Where did that come from? He didn't have that stuff in his nose. <laughs> Call out for the boat for yourself, at least. Gotta be louder. Okay. I'll never let go. I promise. You just let go. I like how the tear trail is frozen on her nose. Come on, keep fighting. I promise you'll never let go. I was smart. I'm glad that guy stayed up. Um, because if he had drowned, if he had sunk, um, yeah. 101, eh? There were 20 boats floating nearby, and only one came back. Mm. Six were saved from the water, myself included. Yeah. The 700 people in the boats had nothing. Wait to die. Wait to live. Wait for an absolution. A prick made it. That's the last time I ever saw him. The crash of 29 hit his interest hard, and he put a pistol in his mouth that year. A.D. Liberty. Dawson. <laughs> Rose Dawson. Oh. <laughs> Mime survived too, right? We never found anything on Jack. There's no record of him at all. No, there wouldn't be, would there? He wasn't, yeah. He won that ticket. Also, he's not real, so. It is a deep ocean of secrets. Is she real? He exists now, only in my memory. Hmm. She still had the jacket. Oh, she got the... No, she took the jacket off. Oh my god. <laughs> Under and one. Still going. Still not letting go. Whoa. She has it? She had it the entire time? But she got it. 
You never sold her anything. Okay. I was gonna save. She had she could sell it or what? Okay, that I don't like. You know how many people you can help with that? Around the world. Hey, that's that little girl. Hey, he's back. I like this guy. That woman is not happy to be here. The woman with the thing on her head. Why are they all clapping? Is this like their marriage or whatever? <sighs> James Cameron. Yeah. And there's the song. <laughs> Any post credit scenes? I suppose not. Oh my god, this was a good movie. This was devastating, man. Like, I don't even know what to say. I was speechless most of the movie. Ah, oh, all right. Yeah. Before I uh, try to wrap my head around all of this, make some sense of it. <laughs> if you want to see the full one three action, link to that is in the description down below. It's on my Patreon. These videos also go up first on my Patreon and then they come on YouTube. So check it out. Thank you, patrons, YouTube members, subscribers, everyone for supporting me all this time. I really appreciate it. And um, thank you, viewers, you know, commenters, all of you, people who like the videos, everyone, man. Thank you so very much. Now then, the movie. feel kind of scared. You know I mean, like my heart is kind of like... I don't know how to describe it. It's like when you're kind of scared, like weird kind of sensation to feeling, you know? Yeah, what the hell? Wow. Yeah. It's a movie based on a real event, a uh, disaster. 1,500 or so people died. And I suppose it was all due to the incompetence of the crew. The captain avoiding or ignoring, rather, all the notices, warnings that he was sent. The crew not paying attention. They were watching Jack and Rose. And that dude even told him it's um, going to make it difficult with icebergs, you know. But the captain was like, hmm. He just, oh, I'm off. Suppose there's a bit of arrogance there with the captain as well, thinking he's got this. 26 years of experience, I believe. That's what they said at the start. He was confident. He thought he knew what he was doing. He thought it was just going to be another ride and nothing more, nothing less. And uh, we saw that arrogance, not just from him, but pretty much everyone in the first class, at least. The way they treated people, the way they looked at the third class. I mean, money means so much to them, you know. I thought maybe in that moment when he gives the jacket to Rose, maybe in that moment for a second he was a bit human. But I guess not. Not even then. That well, you know, once she escapes, he's like, uh, he starts laughing, and the dude's like, "Why are you laughing?" And he's like, "Well, the diamond, not Rose." But then again, Rose had, for all intents and purposes, cheated on him. He was her fiance, his fiance, and they were gonna get married soon. So she had cheated on him. Let's not forget that. So I get if in that moment, if he doesn't care, I suppose it makes sense. But the one thing that he does care about is the diamond. He always cares about the diamond. And then after that, the little child, I'm like, oh, he cares about the child. No, he left the child. He only came back because he realized that's his way of getting out. Because he always wins, no matter what the cost. Speaking of diamond, her throwing that diamond away, that did not sit well with me. I mean, if it is that valuable, you can just, and you don't want it, fine. Just sell it, give the money to anyone. There's so many people around the world. Pick any of them, pick a bunch of them. You can help a lot of people, a lot of lives, and make their lives better a lot. Nothing like a spoiled brat to one, be in first class and say that I'm a slave chained. <laughs> Compare herself with slaves. Although her situation, I, I get it. That's how she felt. Obviously, that's not how she was. But that is how she felt like a slave because she couldn't do or wasn't allowed to do what she wanted to do. She's more adventurous, more, you know, like Jack. Whereas these other guys, that all of them, every single one of them except Molly, I suppose, had a stick up their ass and they just 
so arrogant who are better than them. The better half. Just because you have money, you're better. The thing about money is, though, it is not loyal to you. You know, think about just one bill. How many pockets does it jump from in a day? A lot. And that's the thing that you care about the most more than anything else. That's the thing that makes you better than others. That's the thing that you value over lives. I understand some of the people trying to survive. I understand that completely. I hold nothing against them. That survival instincts, good for you. You're trying to survive. Cool. Those people who came back, they're they're amazing, you know, because they're putting themselves in danger. They're willing to do that to save more lives. And that one captain who just straight up started shooting people and then shoots himself. Speaking of shooting yourself, that dude who cared about money so much when he finally lost it, when he took that hit, he shot himself. You know, that's that's what I mean about money. You have it today. There's no guarantee you're going to have it tomorrow. And also just because you're born poor, that doesn't mean you're going to be poor your whole, uh, your whole life. I'm an example of that. You know where I came from. If you see that, it's not this. It's never this. I, mm. This was our whole house. Well, not our house. It wasn't our house. That's another thing. But anyways, uh, you know, so you can change classes for a second third or whatever that means and um it's very beautifully done man there's the inequality aspect like i said the differences in the class and how arrogant some of these people are and simply the way you talk you know is they can judge you for that too you're like okay well even when you do make money like molly you still not you know you're part of the club but you're not really part of the club they're all avoiding her you know yeah this is a great movie it has everything it has well Romance, horror, disaster, destruction, ah, <laughs> you know, inequality, a, a sort of a commentary on the society in general. Although we're speaking of romance, the scenes between Jack and Rose were so warm, so good. They felt good. When I was watching them, I had a smile on my face the entire time. The scenery, right? The mostly their stuff was sunny and warm and nice and it was fun to watch then you had that same rose with the other dude and it wasn't the same at all she wasn't the same the the way it felt it wasn't the same the way it looked it wasn't the same the way they were speaking the way they were doing things the way they looked at each other the demeanor everything and then this dude thinks hitting her is going to solve anything to me that's like at that point it's gone like if if you're gonna go that far to hit someone anyone i'm not talking about hitting a woman or a man or whatever anyone that means all the efforts that can be made before that has failed, which means it's over. Or it means you're a jackass. I think in this case, he's a jackass because I didn't see any communication. I didn't see anything before that the beating her up. It was one sided. You're going to do this. You're going to do that. You're going to do this. You're going to do as I say. You're going to honor me. Da 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 da. No reply back. Nothing there. That's not how a conversation goes. It's normally this guy says something, then they reply, then they say something, then this guy replies, right? Back and forth. There was no back and forth. It was just one person talking. Well, not even talking, yelling, giving orders. And the same thing goes with the mother. Talks to Rose about being selfish. Well, who's being selfish, really? Just as Rose replies, it's you. I mean, yeah, I understand we're in a tough spot, but how bad is it to be a seamstress? I mean, if you're, hmm, if you look down on those people like that, I think you need to be that so you can understand and you can, like I said, be brought down a level. Well, in their case, I would say like 10, 15 levels because they're way up there. I don't know where you get, they're so high up, you can't even see them from down here. But yeah. Those things sort of pissed me off. And I, I I mean, I get it. I understand why this movie was such a hit. Because like I said, it's got everything. And it was done so well as well. You know, and there's these little details. That car that they brought in into the ship. And then that same car, they do it in that same car, you know. So it's just little tiny details like that. It's just so fun to figure out. Yeah, it was a great movie, man. Yeah, you know, had history. Like I said, it has disaster, it has romance, it has that class and inequality thing going on. It has 
a few things going on. Then the the way the some of the scenes were shot, you know, that I'm flying Jack or I'm the king of the world, you know, those two scenes in particular. I had no idea about this movie. I mean, I knew about the real event, but no idea about the movie. But I knew those two scenes. So uh, that says a lot, you know, the way it was shot, the way it was done. Then that song, I had heard that song too. No idea where it was from, what it was for, which movie, whatever. No, but I had heard the song. So all of it, I mean, it's just the music, the way it was shot, the acting, of course, and the historical importance, the and the romance as well, which was made up, I believe, at least. And bringing it all together, you know, taking this disastrous event, this absolutely horrendous event in history and turning it into something somewhat beautiful, I would say. I mean, it was it was very much at times it felt like a horror. You know, I said they, they can easily make a horror movie about this. At times, it did feel like a horror. At times, I was super scared, especially towards at the end. I don't know. My heart was in a... It was... I don't know how to describe it. It was a weird kind of feeling I had there. I was kind of scared. I was in a weird place there, like looking at all these dead bodies, these people talking to each other, trying to make sense of what's going on. It was, it was difficult to watch in a way, you know? So... When you have all that together and so well done, you know, wrapped into one package, it makes sense why this movie is so good and it was recommended by so many people. I'm glad I finally saw it. It's the second James Cameron movie that I'm seeing and this guy is smashing it. Uh, first one being uh, Avatar, of course. I should be on the channel as well. But yeah, those are my thoughts on the movie. This was a stupendous movie. It's, I'm not, you know, if you watch my other videos, you will realize this is not how I am normally. I am very high energy. This movie literally sucked the energy out of me. Like, <laughs> I, I told you, I feel scared. Just thinking about what just happened. I mean, I knew what... That's, that, and that's the weird... That's another thing. I knew this. I know the actual event. But to see it and then the way it was done as well, it was... It's... I just know that when I stop this video, I'll still be thinking about this. I'll be still be thinking how Jack could have been saved, how all these other people, not just him, all these other people could have been saved. The whole time, you know, well, well the, she was on that thing the door or whatever that was the whole time i'm thinking there's so much furniture find something anything for the people but it's not just about floating though it's also cold extremely cold most of those people died because it was too cold but i guess if you stay above water on a piece of you know a plank or whatever i guess that'll help i don't know man it's yeah, that's a sign of a good movie. When you're done watching, but you're not done watching. In your head, you're still watching the movie. Like, what the f do you know what I mean? Anyways, yeah. <laughs> so it has now been about 24 hours, give or take, since I saw that movie. And I'm just getting ready to see the next movie. It's going to be a scary one, by the way. Horror movies. I know you guys want me to see, you want me to suffer. That's why you guys wanted me to see Titanic. But yeah, I... This movie uh, is weird. It's left a, a thing with me that I just I just cannot stop thinking about it. I literally the day I saw it yesterday, so last night basically, I woke up two a.m. around two ten, something like that, a little over two a.m., um, which is not my regular wake up time. I, I wake up very early. I wake up at four thirty five to four five basically, but not definitely not two. And I just woke up thinking about this this movie and uh rose and jack and all the other people and i was just laying there in the bed just thinking why is that like i've seen many movies and they have left a mark on me like lord of the rings trilogy right that's one that i saw and i was just so like i i fell in love with that world instantly that i just was in that world and it was that world that got me avatar actually i saw it recently that was very similar as well several hours after seeing that movie i was thinking about pandora so that had sort of similar effect but this this was different i was trying to figure out what exactly was it here that did that it's not the world because the world is the same world that i'm in right now it's not some fantasy world like Game of Thrones or Lord of the Rings or Avatar The Last Airbender or a Marvel Universe or any of that, right? So what is it exactly? And it's not a happy feeling either. It's not like a world that I want to be in. Like these other worlds that I mentioned, I want to be there, right? That's the impact they, they had on me was that I wanted to be there. I don't want to be in this situation. 
And I was just thinking and I thought maybe it's the history of it. Maybe it's the story at the core of Rose and Jack. Because it was a beautiful story. You know, they don't look like it. They're supposed to be teenagers. And so it's really a story of kids, you know, kids with dreams, kids with unfulfilled potential. And I think that's what it is. And it's not just them either. It's pretty much all the people that we get to meet. You know, we hear about Molly and we hear about all these other characters, Mr. Andrews, the captain of the ship, Murdoch, man, everyone, the band, you know, these are people, real people. They feel real. I think that's what it is. I'm not entirely sure. Please let me know. How did you feel when you first saw it? And what do you think it is that does this to you? You know? Because I have seen devastating events like this. And it does impact you, but this was different. And the real impact, I feel like I felt the, like the, I, I felt like I got hit with an iceberg hours after I finished seeing the movie. That's the weird part for me, is that during the movie, I was obviously devastated. But I was at my lowest off the camera, which I'm kind of upset about because I wish you guys had seen me. Like literally opened my eyes and the first thing on my mind was this movie. It was incredible. And I, I just I, I think it's I, I think it's because the people in the movies, even the side characters felt real. They had goals, dreams, they had hopes, they had things to do. They had plans that are now unfulfilled. And I think it's that thought that is just messing with me is that you got on the Titanic at the time, the biggest ship, crazy, unsinkable, this and that. A lot of those people were in first class. They were royalty. They, Rose had one of the most expensive diamond in the world. She was going to save her family, right? However unfair that situation is, it's a situation that they're in. Her mother has something there she's working on or trying to figure out obviously then there's Fabrizio and Jack and you know the third class people and they have so much going on of their own and it's just all gone that's it it's just done it's gone all of it none of it matters none of it matters even a little bit and I think it's that it's that it's realizing that it just doesn't matter. And it made me think about what Rose said as well. I mean, at the time I was joking, obviously, like, oh, look at this white royal woman saying, oh, I'm a slave in chain chains. And it is kind of funny that she's saying that. But it's if you really think about it, it doesn't matter that she's in a royal woman with the most expensive diamond. She isn't happy. I can have the most expensive diamond in the world and I can still feel like a slave in chains. I was supposed to watch a horror film. I don't want to watch a horror film in this mood. I normally go in with the happy thoughts because horror movies fuck me up anyways. Do you know what I mean? Like I try to make light of the situation. I try to make jokes. That's my defense against horror. That's how I go through it. <laughs> I don't think I can. I think I might need to postpone this. But I do think, you know, the way this movie was done has... Because like I said, I knew about this event, man. I knew about it. So why is it now that I feel this way and not when I first heard about this event, the real event? Because of the movie, because each and every character, these side characters even, are real. They're real, man. They have something to live for. They have plans. They have dreams. Like I said, unfulfilled potential. And that is what is fucking me up. That is my iceberg. That's what's crashing me. <laughs> I love this movie, man. For, for it to have the impact that it does. Hours later, by the way. I just, ah, this is a very good film. Needless to say, I love this movie. And I am low-key upset that I don't have a camera in my room 24 hours so you could have seen me just lay there in the bed, just right there, just laying, tears in my eyes, just thinking about it. Like, what does it all mean in the end, really? Does it even matter? 
that I'm here, that you're here, that I'm making this video? Does any of it matter? I don't know. And because I don't know, I'm not going to stop. I'll keep going and you shouldn't either. You know, I don't want to make this video about that because it's not. I want to make that very clear. As a matter of fact, I think this movie serves it could be used in a motivational sense as well. You don't know what, when it'll all end. You don't know when it's just going to stop. So just go ahead. Do the thing that you want to do. The thing that you've always wanted to do. Go ahead. Do it. You don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Tomorrow. You don't know what's going to happen the next minute. So just do it. You know? Do it. <laughs> oh, this movie has really fucked me up. Anyways, yeah, I'm going to continue on watching the horror film. To get this shit off my mind. This is going to be interesting because I kind of feel afraid still because of that movie. And I know I'm going to watch a movie that's actually going to scare the shit out of me. So that's going to be quite interesting. It's going to, there's the, me trying to make light of the situation with my humor, my shit humor, which I'm very aware of that it's shit, by the way. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. Um, I just thought I would share my thoughts after because it's the, this fucking movie. I was at what? I was at work. I just came back from work. I was at work and I was thinking about this damn movie at work. I wanted to cry at work, man. Anyways, uh, I'm good, though. I'm good. I, I'm good. Don't, you know, um, I made a post about it and some of you were worried about me. I'm fine. I'm, I'm good. I'll be fine. I'll get over it. <laughs> but yeah, thank you for watching. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the horror film. Yeah. To lighten the mood a little, we'll watch a horror film. Fuck all of you for suggesting Insidious, by the way. Dickheads. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, do drop a like. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And uh, like I said, I've done plenty of other movies and shows and stuff. Check it out. Thank you, patrons, YouTube members, subscribers, everyone for supporting me all this time. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, have a nice...